Once upon a time in Black entrepreneur history, there lived an African-American woman named Marjorie Joyner, and she ended up growing up from a teenager loving cosmetology and opening her own beauty salon, co-founding the United Beauty School Owners and Teachers Association, and inventing with patent the permanent hair wave machine for both Black and white women. Let's get into it. Marjorie Stewart Joyner was born in 1896. In the state of Virginia, her father was an educator and her mother was a paid housekeeper. Her parents ended up divorcing and she ended up moving to Chicago with her mother. This is where she ended up enrolling in A.B. Moeller Beauty School and graduated in 1916. She'd become a cosmetologist. And not only did she become a cosmetologist, she became the first African-American to graduate from A.B. Moeller Beauty School. That was the same year of her graduation at the age of 20 that she opened her own beauty shop called Marjorie Beauty Shop. At the same time, she was learning lots from Madam C.J. Walker. You know, the African-American cosmetologist and business owner who is a millionaire. That Madam C.J. Walker. She learned sales, marketing, and she even became the national advisor for 200 of Madam C.J. Walker's schools. Now, here's where it gets even better. In 1928, she invented and patented what is known as the permanent hair wave design machine. It made it easier for both black and white women to straighten and curl their hair. And it was even invented with the scalp protector. Now, with all the success, Joyner became a celebrity hairstylist child. She styled for people such as Billie Holiday and Marian Anderson. But don't think for one second she was only a hairstylist. She was the director of the Bud Billiken Day Parade for six decades because she was chairwoman of the Chicago Defender Charities. Did you know that she also helped write and develop the cosmetology laws for the state of Illinois in 1940? She was also an advocate for education and philanthropy when she founded Alpha Chi Pi Omega in 1945. Co-founders were Mary McLeod Bethune and William Dawson, the congressman. She also co-founded with Mary McLeod Bethune, who was the African-American founder of the Bethune-Cookman College. Well, they both founded the United Beauty School Owners and Teachers Association in 1945. And yeah, it was for African-Americans. Now, she knew all about racism and injustice, and she fought against it and for the empowerment of black people. In her own life, she talks about not being able to sit on a train because there was no black section. So where did they put her? Next to a casket in a baggage car. Yeah, she had to ride with a corpse. Throughout all that, Marjorie Joyner said there was not an ounce of hatred in her heart. And in 1973, she graduated from Bethune-Cookman College with a bachelor's in psychology. She passed away at the age of 98 in 1994 after living a very full life of education, philanthropy, and loving her African-American people.